This is the Mr. Shady Show. I'm Mr. Shady. Don't shade wherever I go. Watch out, because you might be next. And today, we are going to do Battle of the Spinoffs, Part 2. And today, we are going to be doing Girlfriends versus The Game. So, I know what you guys are thinking. Why this unusual pair? Well, these are the spin-offs because the main character of Girlfriends, a.k.a. Joan, is cousins with the main character of the game, which is Melanie. So, you guys know how we do it. We are going to look at the cast, the plot, the guest stars, the humor, and the drama. So, we are going to do... Guess what we're going to do first? The cast. So, let's look at the cast. For, for girlfriends, we have the brilliant Tracy Ells Ross, aka the main character Joan. She is a very talented actress. She is on Blackish. She was on The High Note. She was on. Little. She was in Little, right? No, I'm just kidding. She's not on Little. It's just a joke. And next, we also have Jill Marie Jones as Antoinette, a.k.a. Tony. And we got Persia White as Lynn. Golden Brooks as Joan, as, sorry, as Maya. And we also have Reggie Hales as William. Is this a talented, talented cast? Yes, it is. Do they deserve to win the cast? But let's look at the game first. So, we have the brilliant and most talented Tia Mori as Melanie, aka Med School. You, everyone knows who Tia Mori is. She was in, obviously, the famous Sister Sister show from the. 90s, along with her other talented sister and host of The Real, Tamara. With, with they were also in these other classic movies, aka Twitches and Seventeen Again. And she was also in these amazing shows that everyone will remember. Family Reunion, which is on Netflix, which is a highly recommended Instant Mom, The Mistletoes, and she even got her own reality show with her sister called Tia and Tamara. But that's not the only talented cast member of the game. We have Jose Chaez as Malik, Pooch Hall as Duran, Wendy Roquel as Tasha Mack, Brittany Daniel as Kelly, Kobe Bell as Jason, Lauren London as Kiara, Jay Ellis as Bryce, and we even have Brandy, aka Janae. Now, everyone knows who Brandy is. Oh, Shanae. That's her character's name. Whatever her character name is. Everyone knows Brandy as her most famous role as Moesha Mitchell in the most popular show in the 90s, Moesha. Which I also did a Moesha in the Parker's battle later in the YouTube video. So go click on that just to give it. So everyone knows her. She was she made history as the first black Cinderella princess before Tiana. So she was the black Cinderella, which is better than the white version, I'm just saying. And she's in Queens, which is also on right now. I still know she did last summer, and she even joined Star at, in the later seasons as Queen Latifah's sister. And she was on 101. Just kidding, she was not on 101. Was she? Oh, yeah, she was. She was in even on 90210, the spinoff in the modern era, not the one back in the 80s or the 70s or whatever that show came on. Oh, 90s. Oh, that is too long ago. So, who wins? Is it the girlfriends or is it the game? Well, personally, I think the game. Only because of Tia and Brandy. Oh, and... 
and Wendy Raquel, because she was very good with this role. So, winner of the cast is The Game. Now, for the plot. Hold on. So the plot of Girlfriends. Girlfriends is about a photographer and her girlfriend are roommates. She is stuck with a small chain shooting. Oh, wait, sorry. Wrong one. It's an ensemble sitcom focusing on a mixed batch of black women who faces life tests and trumps together, from dating to divorce, and friends to family to relationships. Joan, Maya, Lynn, and Tony support each other despite their different backgrounds, learning the true friendship in the process. While the game, while their men try to hunt the grip, try to hold their talents on the field as professional football players, the wives and girlfriends of uh, sharpen their own skills behind the scenes when it comes to the power plays they have to use to get their guys to the best agents. The best the best of the best and the best merchandise deals, even in the charity, and then the groupies around every corner and the oh so helpful image, ready eager to perform a makeover for any player in trouble. So, which plot is better? Is it the girlfriends, the like every sitcom, or the game, aka like every typical drama CW show? Well, what do you guys think? Who is going to win? Comment down below to see which one do you personally think wins this battle. So, audience in the background, what do you think? Girlfriends. Honestly, the one to get you on the edge of your seat, I feel like it's a tie. Both of his shows. Okay, I only ask you one question. Don't override your limit. And now, next is the guest stars. See, every TV show must have guest stars, right? Right. right. Dang, apparently, Girlfriends has so many guest stars. So, first, we have... Let's start with the game. So, first, we have Chris Webber, Jillian Rose, Soldier Boy, Serena Williams, Two Shorts, Ava... Megan Good, Jerry Rice, Little Kim, Fabulous, and Rick Fox, Stacy Dash, Terrence J, and so much more. And for girlfriends. So, for girlfriends, we have Angie Stone, Anne Marie Johnson, B.B. Moore Campbell, Bernice Parks, Adrian Lester, and Angie Stone. Who wins the guest stars? Honestly, the game. 
They, girlfriends have more guest stars than that. There's so many guest stars, I don't feel like reading it, because we'll be going to be here all night. Get it together. So. Get it together, Kelly, get it together. Who said you could talk? Who <laughs> said you could talk? Who said you could talk? No one, exactly, so stop. I'm sorry about her. I've been trying to fight her, but, you know, that's that old story. Save it for the dog commercials. So, <laughs> we are going to give it to the game because they have more guest stars that you can recognize from the top of their head. Right? See, now you can talk. Just do the video and keep going. It's hard finding good help these days. I know, right? Talking about you, but okay. So, the humor. Girlfriends has that classic humor with Maya's funny, you know, funny stuff. And Joan has that classic, annoying friend humor. Lynn has that fierce, that free, free spirited humor. Where, while, um, Tony, she had that bougie stuff. And William, just a man humor. And for the game... Tasha Mack, spot on hilarious. And Malik, sarcastic, but kind of hilarious. And Melanie, she's serious, but she said some funny things at the same time. But for humor, we got to give it to girlfriends. So if you want some serious stuff, go to the game. If y'all want to laugh all day, go watch Girlfriends. Now for the drama. The game and girlfriends has so much drama, right? Sorry, I had to. Now for the girlfriends, we have that classic Joan versus Tony. Because they kind of play with that each season before Tony left the show. Well, first, Tony had an affair, and she keeps having sex with men. She had so much, she had chlamydia. Which, and Joan accidentally told the guys that she had chlamydia. And they both broke up with her, so they argued, and Joan, she missed her court date. So that's when she kind of got the show, and Maya, she had that, um... A mostly cheating affair with her husband. And for, um... Lynn, she had that racist sister drama. But for the game, so much drama. First, mainly we're going to talk about Duran and Melanie. They got the baby, the baby drama, the cheating drama. The way behind your bad drama, the DNA test drama. If y'all want drama, just look at Darren and Melanie, cause the show is basically about them, right? And for Tasha Mack, she basically went behind Malik's back and get her dad, but she made the whole thing about her instead of him. So y'all already know they got mad. And for Kelly and Jason. They got mad of each other because Jason was on steroids, even though Kelly told him not to. So, yeah, that's drama. But, who has the most drama? Obviously, the game. So, that is it, you guys. So, who won? Who won this battle? Well, according to the data, the game has won. Okay! So, the game has won. But, if you guys feel like girlfriends should have won, put it down in the comments so y'all can finally comment on my videos. Like, y'all gonna watch and you're not gonna say anything. Make it make sense, viewers. Don't be stupid like my sister. No offense. So... Do you guys agree with these choices? Let me know.
Oh, and I have a TikTok now and an Instagram, even though I don't post nothing on Instagram. It's Gamera Guy. Oh, I'm not my mom. I don't need my glasses. Hold on. Gamer Guy 141. And my TikTok is Ryan Robinson 545. So you guys go follow me and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'm Mr. Shady. And this has been the Mr. Shady Show. This is Mr. Shady signing off.